Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter with a quick review for the uh, Rambling Movie Minute, um, time to ramble.com. And uh, today I, I was really excited that I had a chance to watch on Netflix to see this pop up and featured and suggested for me uh, was Atari, uh, Atari Game Over. This was uh, something that gained a little bit of traction, a little bit of news uh, more recently because of their Kickstarter. Um, specifically in of course, um, um, you know, unearthing and the the famed, uh, infamous, however you want to say it, uh, Atari ET cartridges that were, you know, it was always the rumor that they were just millions of them buried in the desert somewhere in the Mojave or whatever the heck the rumor was. And um, I, I this that was really the crux of this. Now, they do have great interviews here with... Um, Oh, and now his name, I just saw him on the screen. Um, but all the bigwigs at Atari, including the guy that worked on the game, um, I, I thought it was pretty fantastic. They did get everybody involved with this. And uh, and there's a lot of it. The, the main story of this, when you look at the documentary, there has to be a little bit of narration to it. There has to be a little bit of story. And the main thing is that process of what does it take for us to unbury trash? Maybe that's what this movie is really about is unbearing trash. Uh, but there is enough serviceable history around that. If you're new to this or like, why are we going out and doing this? And, and, and I think um, so I've been having some uh, conversations with Rob there on Facebook about this movie. And yeah, the movie is not the perfect documentary, um, but it does a very serviceable job of, you know, kind of remind you what Atari was, if this was not your generation, and Atari more or less was pre my generation. I'm a Nintendo kid, and uh, you know, playing with power and all of that. And uh, it was, it does enough to put the story around that, and the narrative of why E.T. happened the way E.T. happened. Even some interesting quotes by Steven Spielberg in this movie about what he thought of the game. The thoughts may surprise you. Um... And how it became this. Uh, so it's not the best video game documentary, and but I think um, it it serves its purpose. I think it was kind of a loose, um, 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 you know. I, I think they had the germ of an idea with uh, the unbearing of the ET cartridges, but they really needed to wrap more of a story around it. And that's what they did with the rest of the art Atari background. And it's another angle of it. Don't think of this as the completest documentary about Atari, the rise and fall of Atari. Um, but it's a great footnote in that. Because usually the E.T. game story is the footnote in a larger Atari documentary or the video game documentary or whatever you've watched out there. Um, and I think this is uh, really kind of filled in a gap and spread that out and added enough of the rest of that Atari story. So if you're uh, walking into this it's uh it really tells that so uh really good worth your time if you have netflix it's on there i may be mistaken it may have also popped up on amazon prime as well if you have that i definitely recommend it it's only like an hour and six minutes so well worth your time there not a huge huge investment go check it out it's atari game over and uh, this has been uh, uh, time to ramble.com. I'm Mike Sorg, and please join us and follow our podcast, follow our YouTube channel. We have so much content coming up with all of our contributors and everything. And see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.